time, I go for one time, I'm to my mess up. Anything you wish me, that be a passion. Mm, bad man, no, they walk up. Man, no, be God. Up. Today on the channel, I'm gonna be doing, you know, those braids where like, the back is normal and the front is just like you can flip it over i think they're called like geometry braids i don't know but i'm gonna try to do that if not then i'm just gonna do regular braids but i do want to try it i don't usually do like cornrows in the front because i don't know i feel like i have a big forehead i don't know i don't like the the look of it but i'm gonna give it a try because i'm like you know what i need to try something new so that's what we're gonna do so today i ran out of my other braiding on gel that i use so i'm using the braid formula I heard good things about this too. It's just like clear. Hopefully it doesn't like flake in my hair. So we'll see. And then I just have my wristband, some clips, this comb, and I made it like this. And then this is what I'm gonna scoop the gel with. I have have to have this on deck. And then this is just like for this part, the rat tail comb, so I can like section my hair. And then I just have extra clips so my hair is freshly washed i washed it yesterday so remember in the last video i did when i did my not loose braids with the human hair like i said in that video i don't usually blow dry my hair so i washed my hair yesterday moisturized it put leave-in cream i did the lco method and then i put it into box braids because i feel like this is box braids um stretch out your hair more than twist so this is what they are i have two sections in the front two sections in the back and then I'm just going to work like that. And hopefully they're dry because I did them last night. I don't know. They feel... I might sit on the dry for a little bit because... I don't know. It feels a little damped. But we'll see. Okay, so first I'm going to split my hair in half. Then once I do that, I'm going to split that section into halves again. So in total, I'm going to have four sections in my hair. Come back on it. You can put a hundred gram on it. Anything now that I have my four sections, I'm gonna split the back two from ear to ear. Once I got both sides to be equal, then I split it into three sections, and now I'm working on the bottom, which I'm gonna split into two. So, here I'm just showing you my braiding hair and how I have it prepped. When starting my knotless braids, I braid for like a couple and then I start adding pieces. So that's how you guys want to do it. You, um, I'll say you braid twice, then add the hair, then braid, then add the hair. And it's like a cycle. Okay, so I finally finished the back. Yes, I'm still on the back, okay? This is what it's looking like. And I did it pretty thick. So, and as of right now, they're really light. Um, Let me show you the brand here that I use for this style is this. I usually use the, um, I never said the name at the Rwanda hair. It's R-U-W-A. That hair, because I'm usually allergic um like i can't use expression hair at all because it's itch city and i can't but this year so far hasn't been irritating me it's nice and soft it's lightweight considering so right now this is just two packs of hair and i didn't even really do them small like last time so oh and they're long when i show you guys they're like to my butt but i think i'm gonna curl the ends yeah i'm gonna curl the ends a little bit so i can bring them up a little bit you know but yeah, so now I'm going to start the front. I'm going to fix my middle part because I realize it's not straight. Now I'm going to be splitting my hair into four sections to do the different designs that I want to do. I cannot trust my neighbor. Alright, so 
did the other side you know hopefully they're all even I I think they are let's see yeah they're they're yeah yeah all right let's see I don't know how this braiding this corn roll is gonna go oh pray for me well these ones are just braids so in order to do the crisscross, what you're going to do is break that section into halves and then break that halves into halves again like you see me doing. And then you're just going to work on the opposite section. Just, it's better to look. I can't really explain it, but when you braid, you're going to braid and then just follow the section and it creates that crisscross. So many reasons we are under for you. All right, guys, y'all ready to see the hair? All right, we did a little change of plans. We didn't do the Fulani, whatever geometry braid, you know, whatever. But I think I like it. I think you guys will like it too. So let me take this off. I did everything else off camera, as y'all can see. Ooh. All right, I did a little some of the edges. You know me and edges, guys. I just let them be, but they're a little something, but look. Like, I usually don't do this type of style because I'm like, um, my forehead, but you know, we're growing, so whatever. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going to show you guys the full thing. Let me put you guys, give me one second. 